The immortal John Hancock here, talking about a new announcement about an upcoming handheld called the Evercade. Now, there's not a ton of details at this moment, but I thought I'd talk about it. They do have a website, and I wanted to talk about what has been announced and give you my thoughts on it. And so, out of nowhere, website appeared, the Evercade. I didn't know about this handheld. In fact, I was doing a live stream and someone asked me about it. I'm like, I have no idea. So I looked it up. So I looked it up and the Evercade is a new handheld that is going to play classic video games from the 8 and 16 bit era. And you can hook up this handheld device to a TV via HDMI cable. And so they don't show pictures. They just show like a GIF of like, they show like a cartridge going into the top of it. There are many questions I have about this handheld and here are some of the tidbits of information that they did talk about on their website. And so they talk about it. It's gonna have a 4.3 inch screen, the same size as a PSP. They didn't say anything about quality, but they say it's the same size as the PSP. So that's a nice screen size for a handheld. It will play, as I mentioned before, 8 and 16-bit era games, but it doesn't say anything about, does it play the cartridges? And so it's it plays the games, but what does that look like? And so I have several questions about that. Uh, it does announce that it's going to pursue licensed games. So this is not some Chinese clone that's going to play games or it's going to offer games illegally. And so that's really awesome for people that want a legal way of playing 8 and 16 bit era games and so that's been a problem especially looking at the nintendo switch where you know there's a lot of people that want to play those classic video games that aren't legally able to play those games especially on a handheld so i think this is awesome that evercade is addressing that at least announcing that they're addressing that very cool uh, they have several announcements on companies that they're, that are working with them, they will announce one of them very soon. Okay, no internet required, which means you're not having to update a game. That's very frustrating about current games sometimes is always requiring an internet connection. No internet is required. Does that mean that internet is offered on the handheld device? Is internet offered on the handheld? I don't know, but they say it's not required. And so the release date is 2019. And so we're gonna find out more information about this very soon. We have E3 coming up. And I think that E3, even though some major companies aren't offering news at E3, E3 is a place for these smaller companies to come to showcase a, a gaming product, which this is. And hopefully more information will be revealed around that time, hopefully. And so there's gonna be a standard headphone jack, so people that wanna play that, that's great. I think that's cool. The Evercade is also promoting all killer and no filler when it comes to their game library, which they haven't announced. Now, before I go any further, I am completely aware there are a ton of gaming products coming to the market. And my first question about this is this, is this a novelty item or is this an actual handheld that they're trying to promote and are going to continue to promote all year round? You know, this is a time when usually holiday items coming up for the upcoming fourth quarter are going to be announced. And there's going to be many products flood the market on that fourth quarter that people are going to get something for Christmas. You know, is this going to be that type of handheld or is it going to be actually a handheld that's going to be offering games and it's going to be on the market more than six months you know there's a big difference you know there's many companies out there that make these novelty items they come out and you know they do okay and then next holiday they come out with more products and they do okay i i hopefully this is not one of them because you know it'd be really nice to have a handheld that offers retro games and sticks around and it's really tough market 
to crack. You know, we have so many options. I think with the success of the Nintendo Switch, I think there's other companies sitting back and looking, is there a, a, an avenue for a product that's not being offered to gamers? This could be it, it all depends, several things. Price, it's gotta be affordable. I, I don't know if it's not offering AAA titles, you know, um, what does that look like price-wise? Battery life is okay. I think four to five hours, okay. That's an okay time, I think, for handheld. You know, Nintendo Switch, I think, on a on a, a top-tier title like Breath of the Wild, I think, lasts three to four hours. So, okay. So, I want to see this in action. You know, how good is the build quality? You know, who's behind this product as well? There's not much information on that. I'd like to know, do they have any experience? Is this their first major project? that they're working on. It'd really be interesting to see if there's, you know, some veterans behind this product. And I, I, I wanna know more information before I give a definitive answer about it. But it's cool to talk about. I'm really excited about talking about products such as this because, you know, there's always room for improvement in the gaming industry. I think there's a lot of people, a lot of older gamers that are on the fence about all digital downloads. You know, is this going to address that? Is it going to offer games on cartridge format? Is it going to have some type of like development cartridge? And I, I you know, there's several questions. Is this going to play my actual Sega Genesis carts or Nintendo? Does it take an adapter? What does that cost? There's so many questions I have about the Evercade, but the potential is there for something pretty cool. I am open and excited at least to hear about more information about the Evercade. I definitely would like to get my hands on one and take a look at it and see, is it worth the fuss? I think there's a lot of people out there that want to play classic video games that may not necessarily want to play classic video games. There's even other people that would love to buy classic video games, licensed classic video games legally. And so this might fit all those things into one nice package where people can enjoy, or it's going to be a complete disaster. And so I think that's one thing is that there's been a lot of companies promising the world only to have to deliver on things. I think there's a lot of leery consumers out there that have been bombarded with products over and over and over again, only to be mildly disappointed over time. You know, I'm a gamer, I'm 43, I've played everything from Atari to Xbox, and I always like new retro gaming products, especially ones that are successful, and they're out there. Hopefully the Evercade can deliver on some of their promises. And so I look forward to future announcements about this. I do have questions. I think it's easy and understandable for people to be skeptics of new gaming products because you know, there has been disappointments out there. So of the things I've announced of their website, is this something you'd be at least interested in hearing more information about? Or are you burned out? Are you done with buying a new handheld? Are you completely satisfied with products such as the Nintendo Switch, or previous retro gaming products that are portable. Do you just, are, are you fine with just getting a Chinese import handheld and calling it good? Are you happy with Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, you know, even PSP or a Vita, and this is something that you're not interested in? Comment below. I'd love to hear your input on things about the Evercade. Thank you so much for people continuing to enjoy my humble channel as I march towards 90,000 subs. I have some great video content prepared and I can't wait to share that on my channel. Also, stay tuned for future announcements on my Facebook and Twitter page where I do announce my live streams. That is a great place for information on what's coming next. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the immortal John Hancock. You take care. For folks that don't know, I am a second grade teacher by day, and I do this in the afternoon. I do three videos a week with passion, and this is just my hats off to anybody and everybody who has tuned into any of my videos and gave me a positive comment. It means the world to me. I really appreciate everybody and the outpour of support for what I'm trying to do on my channel, and for my future video game museum, which will happen no matter what anybody else says. 
Looking forward to sharing my joy with video games with you. You folks take care.